Hey everyone, I'm Matt and welcome to my weekly this is what I'm doing this week video. We had a pretty major windstorm here a few days ago and today it's been raining on and off pretty hard. I think we probably got around half an inch of rain today and my gutters are full again. I just cleaned them out here a few weeks ago. They're, they're full of debris again and they're overflowing. And uh, fortunately my roof has a 512 pitch and it's single story so it's pretty easy to walk on. I just use the leaf blower up there and cleaning them out is pretty easy but I'm tired of them filling up. I don't like having to get up there on the roof. And so this week, I'm gonna come up with a solution for that. Our gutters and downspouts are pretty typical. It's a standard two by three downspout. But this is the bottleneck right here. We've got these uh, screens right here. And they are what uh, fills up first. You can see all these fir needles right here are backed up. We've got some Japanese maple leaves and some alder leftover alder leaves in here. And so you can see the, it's not raining right now. The gutter is full. So I think I'm gonna put on my engineering design hat and we'll try and come up with a solution. I wanna remove this filter out of the gutter, but I don't want all the debris to get flushed down into the drain system that's here. I'm pretty sure down here is a French drain and I don't wanna fill that up with all the debris from the gutters. So we're gonna see if we can figure out a solution. I spent a little bit of time in Fusion 360 and this is what I came up with. And this filter is designed to go in line with the downspout. Uh, essentially any debris that comes down the downspout with the water is gonna hit this screen and be kicked right out of the opening. And uh, I intentionally designed a little lip at the bottom of this screen here and that's so that any water that's running down the surface of the filter will hit that and tend to go back down the downspout whereas the debris will go out the opening and this is a time lapse of my printer doing the print i decided to print it with translucent pet g uh, pet g has decent uv resistance and is pretty strong and i think it'll be a good material to use uh, outside plus the translucent plastic should uh, you know allow you to see water flowing through it which is pretty cool and then that's the completed part it looks pretty good. I, I think it's going to work pretty good. And we'll go outside and try an installation. Nice fit. Perfect. This is what was in there before. And the problem is this just clogs up way too quick. And we're gonna deal with the small uh, gutter drop size here in a future project. Okay, I got a garden hose running in the gutter full blast. And I see a problem with my design here. I might have to uh, add some kind of stop in here to prevent this water from running down the, uh, the face of this. I'll think about a way to put a little lip inside of here or something to kind of kick that water back. Not quite back to the drawing board, but uh, definitely could use some improvement. And we've got another overflowing downspout. We have a little bit of water coming down this, but not very much. I'm sure that filter that's up there is just clogged. Same, same issue as with the other one. Got this new one that I just uh, 3D printed right here. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's this little ramp that I made in here. There's a lip around the inside of this in the top. And then there's a ledge that's uh, right here. Uh, those things combined, I think, ought to help with the problem I was having on the other one.
improved design appears to actually be improved. The water is actually running off the lip up here, back deeper inside of the filter, and everything is going down the filter. There's just some little droplets from you know high-speed drops that are hitting up there that are kind of splashing out, but I would say 99% of the water is going down the, the uh, downspout filter. Got to clean that gutter out. But I made another change. I started to film on this other one. And my camera battery died during the middle of the change. But basically, this is the one where the water was splashing out the front. All I did is I made two vertical cuts on the metal in there and then just bent that in maybe like an eighth of an inch. And that was enough to stop that, um, the break up the surface tension on the water and stop it from flowing down the inside here. So this one does not have the ramps inside of it, but it is now working just fine. And as you can see, there's some debris that's been kicked out in front of it during some of those heavier downpours. One more printed, we'll get that one done too. And the weather is perfect for this. It's windy and it's stormy and it's crap. Well, I got three of these installed. That one that you just saw, this one here, which uh, has been flushing out a bunch of fur needles apparently, and then the original one that, uh, that I installed first over here. This one's working fine now that I made that little modification to it. So I've got three more downspouts that connect to uh, underground piping, so I've got three more of these things to print, but I'd say my design's pretty good, so we're going to call the video quits there, and thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.